Attention passengers, so the good news is we're ready for landing. The bad news, the airport isn't. We're going to have to circle for at least 30 minutes. Ugh, come on. By the time we land and get through security, our vacation's gonna be over. Don't worry, Sophia. It shouldn't take long. This airport uses a biometric system for border entry. Oh, interesting. But no biometric system's gonna recognize me. Look at my passport photo. I have pink hair. Pink. Yikes. You'll be fine, though. It's actually more accurate than manual checking. Faster, too. But the machine will take one look at my hair and say, nope. Nah, biometrics relies on things that stay constant over time, like the space between your eyes, not the color of your hair. I mean, there can be an occasional error, a false negative or a false positive, but not very often. You're worried about getting a false negative, the system being fooled by a difference in how your face looks today compared to what's on file and thinking you're not the same person. A false positive happens when the system thinks two different people's faces are the same and maybe lets an unauthorized person through. Oh yeah, that reminds me of this video I saw where two identical twins unlocked each other's phones with their faces. This passport is almost 10 years old, so I could get a false negative. What then? Then you'll just go through a manual check. Oh, I see. If a computer can't verify my identity, a person still could? Right. Verification is just matching two images from the same person, one from when you first enroll, like a passport photo, and one collected at a later time, like when you go through airport security. In other applications, biometrics is used for identification. This is where a physical feature, like a fingerprint, is compared against a large database to identify who that person is. Just like detectives on TV. Yes, but remember, a detective's job is to collect lots of different kinds of evidence to avoid convicting someone based on a rare mistake. Biometrics is just one of the many tools they use to- Attention passengers, please prepare for landing. Anyway- Ooh, save that thought. I've got more questions for when we hit the beach.